Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you some gorgeous nail art items that have been kindly sent to me to review from Born Pretty Store. BPX L015 Panda Stamping Plate. With the stamping plates I'll be showing you my swatches and group photos that I have done for each of the plates. L018 Forest Animals Stamping Plate using my usual mixture of stamping polishes and my Starry Sky Stamper and Scraper and Clear Stamper. A red Starry Holographic Glitter Powder, number five. And for the powders, I'll have them all done on stiletto display nail tips. A purple Starry Holographic Glitter Powder, number six. Top grade 0.5 grams of Carnelian Chrome Pigment Powder, code number GOB20. All product information can be found in the description box below with each of the products codes for the Born Pretty Store website. Also, don't forget that I have a 10% discount code GSNW10, which can be used on non-discounted items on their website. BPX L015 is a super cute panda plate. I decided that I would be using black and white pop sticks and polishes and I just love the effect that it's given. All of the little images I used my clear stamper for and for the six large images I used the Starry Sky Stamper. Now the bottom right side image I had a lot of trouble getting a good clear pickup. I think this was about my sixth attempt but if you know me these images are not my strong point. I just love this plate especially the panda in the bikini that just made me laugh. Other than the troubled image this plate swatched perfectly and it's an absolute gorgeous plate. L018 is a stamping plate covered in forest animal images and they're all super adorable. This plate would be amazing if you made them into decals or colouring in with sharpie pens. You could really make a woodland mani full of colour and beauty. Again, it swatched really well. I just used my Starry Sky stamp for this plate. You could really have a lot of creative fun with this plate. It's so cute. Moving on to the pigments and glitters. I have three pots of amazingness here. Before I did any video, I had a little play around to see what would work best with these. And I was like, wow, they're stunning. The two white parcels are the holographic glitters and the hollow parcel is the carmelian pigment. So the first pot is number five, gorgeous red holographic glitter. The second is number six, and it's a stunning holographic purple glitter. And the third is the Carmelian pigment, GOB20. And they all came with these small makeup applicators. Now I'll only be using it on the Carmelian pigment. These are my favorite brushes for glitters. I apply with the pink one and brush away the excess with the bluey white one. I have three stiletto display tips I'll be using, which are all ready to go. The red one is for the red holographic glitter, the purple is for the purple holographic glitter, and the black one is for the carmelian pigment.
This top coat is over the red and the purple as it leaves a tacky layer. And this top coat is for the Carmelian pigment as it's a no wipe top coat. This will also be my final top coat over the top when I've finished. So I'm just going to apply the glitter to the pop stick. I tried it over a no wipe top coat and it didn't work. It just moved the glitter around, it didn't stick at all. But when I tried it on a tacky layer, it stuck beautifully. So just rub it into the nail. Once you have your desired look, I then use the brush to flatten down anything that could be sticking up. But this red is just stunning with its bluey purple tones and it comes to even more life once you've applied the top coat. onto the purple and I'll just be repeating the same process again as I did for the red one. But this purple is just beautiful. And again, it comes to life even more once you've top coated it. Now onto this Carmelian pigment. This is top grade pigment and I can really tell the difference. There was hardly any flying in the air. It hardly left any bits left on the nail once brushing away. The code for this pigment is GOB20. Now this pot is only 0.5 grams. So you might think that's not a lot, but as you'll see, the small amount that I picked up and it covered this big nail, it's gonna go a long way this little bit, but it's stunning. Now I've used quite a few Carmelian pigments because they are just gorgeous, but this one has to be my favorite now and totally worth the money. Paying more on these types I now think is the best way to go. But with Born Pretty, you still don't have to pay a fortune to get a really good product. How gorgeous is this nail? Please excuse the little glittery bits. I should have done the pigment first. Even with cleaning my brush before putting back into the top coat, I have got glitter everywhere. So I hope you liked my review on these nail items that Born Pretty have very kindly sent to me. Thank you. If you liked my review, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, I would love it if you could. I'm also always on Instagram, so why not pop over to Glitter Shine Nails and follow me over there. So until next time, happy stamping and bye.